Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my third part of Module 4, Lesson 14. Again, on this problem, let me use a, a brighter color. Problem, we're going to look at one half of four thirds. Okay, now, if they want you to do it on this manner, like they have it on the top, this is one half, which they just copied, and then say of. And then we have to write four thirds. If you already have the third, then you only have to write the four here. And then we're going to find the answer. Okay? So one half of four thirds. That's the first way. This is one way to do it. Four times one equals four. And two times three equals six. And now you know that these two can be divided by two. And the answer is two thirds. Okay, that's the easy way. So the answer will be right here, two thirds. Now let's write it with changing this to unit form. So all I'm going to do is write the same one half times. Instead of writing four thirds, I'm going to write times four thirds. Why is that? Well, that simplifies things. Watch this. Four times one equals four as a numerator. And we add, we give the, the whole a denominator. So one times three equals two. So now you say that that is two, four halves. So when you divide this, say four divided by two equals two. And then you say two what? Well, you have this box right here that is gonna show you what? It's gonna be two thirds, thirds. So now you can see there are two ways in which you can solve the problem and, and gives you the same answer. Now, let's show this on a model. As you can see, we already have one model here. Let me see if I can move it up a little. Let me clone this one. Why am I cloning this? You know why? Because I noticed something, my friends. I noticed that, that it says that you have this much, four thirds. So if, if I do this right here, I know that the denominator tells me how many parts in each hole. This one is only three. But this four says that I have to have four of them. So I need one more model. Now I can color the one, the four thirds. So this is one third, two, and three. And we need one more. So it would be four thirds. Let me label this. So from here to here, my friends, let me uh, scroll up a little. This is three, and this one more is four thirds. So now we need to find out how much is one half of that. So all we gotta do is one half, we're gonna show it across. So that's one half. And we're gonna, we're going to, the word is um, show one half. So these, these will be one half. Okay, now this is how you get the answer. So you, you can just count how many things you have. So each box is, this is, which model is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the denominator has to be six. How many overlap? One, two, three, four. Only those four overlap. Okay, and let me, I forgot to label this. This is showing one half. That's a multiplication, one half times four thirds. So the answer is four on the top. As you can see, that we already saw on the multiplication that we did first. There it is. But now we have to simplify. So four, four six again, divided by two, it will equal two old thirds, which was our answer. So now we can say that what we got to write the answer. One half of four thirds equals. Let me get that number back in shape here. Okay, one half of four thirds equals two thirds. Okay, my friends, let's review this problem. This is easy. Remember that when you understand things, they're easy. It doesn't matter how hard they are. And I know you have what it takes. 
you have the brain power. Signing out from Studio 520, no, sorry, from Gravity 2 Studio, your coach, Mr. Magnifico.